Charles J. Hines, the District Attorney of Kings County or Brooklyn, New York. This month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and it's very important to me on a both a personal level as well as the District Attorney of Kings County. On a personal level, I grew up in that nightmare, and I, I try and do everything I can, uh, and I've done this over the 23 years I've had the privilege of being District Attorney, of making sure that no woman or any other victim suffered the way my mother had to suffer, and that no kid had to watch what I had to watch as a child. And um, on, on, on the professional level, we've done many, many things uh, incrementally to going from a domestic violence bureau, which was the first in the country, to in 2007 with the uh, partnership of Mayor Mike Bloomberg, uh, and the, uh, with a grant from the Violence Against Women Act, we uh, established one of 15 family justice centers. It was actually the first one in the North. Family Justice Center, which is located in this, in this building at 350 J Street, provides every possible resource for victims of domestic violence and their surviving children. So for example, we have in the center something called Margaret's Place. And that's dedicated to the memory of Margaret Torre, Joe Torre's mom. And she was married to a, a drunk, uh, a cop at the time. Um, and uh, he would bounce around bars after his tour of duty uh, and come home and pistol whip Margaret and, and uh, intimidate Joe and his siblings. Margaret's place gives me the resources to hire uh, a child therapist to begin the healing process for our children. And there are two goals for the domestic violence uh, program with respect to kids. First of all, stop the violence in the home. A child should not have to watch that, that uh, horrible, horrible nightmare. And number two, it is a public safety c component as well. Because children who grow up in that uh, environment feel the same anger and violence and, and frustration I felt. And unless they are counseled, as I was counseled, my mother was wise enough to get me counseling. As they get older, they lash out and they commit serious crimes and many, many of them end up in upstate prison. So having a program that breaks this cycle of violence uh, has a very, very direct effect on public safety. No one has ever asked about their documentation, so if anyone is watching the, the program who is undocumented, they don't have to worry about coming to our office because we never ask someone about their documentation. We're only concerned about their victimization. Secondly, that doesn't have to be an arrest. You can show up here at 350 J Street, go to the lobby of the building, 9 to 5 uh, on Monday through Friday, and there's a section cordoned off where the Family Justice Center representative uh, it stays, and that person will introduce uh, a victim to a social worker and an assistant prosecutor within minutes. And, and then we begin the process of ending the violence and, and uh, preparing for a comprehensive safety plan for our victims and their surviving children. Uh, I'm very, very proud of the fact that no woman or any other victim in this county has to spend one more day uh, under the uh, um, the hour of, of domestic violence. Help is available in Brooklyn and we can, we can end the violence and help and protect people. We have many batteries programs. We have alcohol recovery programs. We have drug recovery programs. We have programs for uh, anger management. And I've often said that if my father, who was an alcoholic, had that therapy available, then perhaps we would have had a relationship. Instead, we didn't talk for the last 19 years of his life, so he lost his only son and I lost my only father. So what we try and do is eliminate the, the, uh, the condition that causes the violence in the home. And if we're not successful in deterring that conduct through uh, alcohol or drug recovery programs or anger management, then of course, uh, if the, the person re continues to abuse uh, his spouse or his intimate partner, then we'll send him to prison. It's a, it's a significant indicator of, of the problems with domestic violence, and, and alcohol and drugs in particular are something that uh, very, very often is the trigger for domestic violence. 
I'd like to say what's up to all of my good friends in Brooklyn and just remind them that in 1990, when I became district attorney of this county, we were the fifth most violent place in America. And then by 2003, because of our strong partnership with our community leaders in Brooklyn, and working with other law enforcement agencies. In 2003, Money Magazine said we were one of the 10 best places to live in America. We've had an 87% reduction in violent crime. And as I said, on a personal uh, level, uh, our commitment to the victims of domestic violence and their surviving children is something that I'm most proud of. So the what's up is, if you, have, if you need help, you give me a call. 